Okay, I'll just show you where I am quickly. Um, this is uh, Wanstead Park. I mean, the overall effect of this is quite nice, but it's all sort of cordoned off, you know, when you've seen uh, like a real bluebell wood, it's, it's not quite the same. But I wanted to say what happened yesterday at Speaker's Corner, because um, I was quite angry yesterday and I had a really good moan to Brother Stefano and I said, you know what, I don't know how long I can keep quiet with these idiot preachers here. Like, like they, they really, honestly, they, they really do vex my spirit. They really do. I said, they're not even talking about this yet, about the Bible changes. Well, luckily there's some gossips up that way. So um, someone heard me. Oh, let me just get out my notes. I don't forget to say what I say. Um, somebody heard me. And one of the uh, <clears throat> speakers approached me which I was, you know, at least they did it. At least they came and they said to me, look, what are your posters about? And I showed them. And I said I had to make a new one because now they're getting so ridiculous. And, um, yeah, so basically he went to um, this one here. He went to Job 27.3, Spirit of God in my nostrils which is quite ridiculous and um, he said I can prove that you're in error I said how and he said because it's now in Genesis apparently in Genesis it it kind of says now um, that God when he created Adam he breathed life into his nostrils and um, I mean I, that, that's stupid I, I can't believe it but that's what it says now I mean you've got Adam and Eve making aprons right the word apple has been removed it's fruit and uh, quite frankly i mean all these over here look look how ridiculous this is yeah how many have i got there yeah and they can't and you know and he said he basically said that um because of job the spirit of the nostrils he said everything that you've got is wrong because i've proved one of them wrong so <clears throat> yeah what can you do what can you do but anyway I just thought okay you know whatever um, but I went to get his Bible right to get the um, Acts uh, 2614 quote That's um, funny. yeah to get the Acts 2614 whereby the word goads has been replaced with the word P-R-I-C-K so I was going to find that and I was going to actually present it to him and I was going to say look how do you actually feel with, with this word now in the Bible I went to get I went to look gone not there so they're you know playing the tricks again removing stuff anyway I got What's home and I checked on the internet and um, it's actually been removed from most of the Bibles now it's still <coughs> It's still in the uh, um, King James Version and it's in somewhere else as well. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, a couple of them had some really strange stuff about it as well. Like um, uh, in the Contemporary English Version, it says, Saul, Saul, why are you so cruel to me? Ridiculous. And the Good News Translation says, kicking against the owner's stick. And, um, the, uh, yeah, the KJV, that word is still there. Uh, oh, yeah, International Standard Version says, kicking against cattle prods, okay? So there's stuff going on here. It's just, it's just so ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, so, but what can you do? If they can't see, they can't see. But my ministry is for the atheists who can see. I mean, the minute you say lion and lamb, lamb and wolf, they're like, whoa, you know, that, that's not right. And when I, when I mentioned that to him, he turned around and he said, well, lion and lamb is in my heart. So he's acknowledging that there's a change, but he's brushing it aside. It shows you they've got no love for the scriptures, no love for their Bible. Yeah, makes me sick. I'm out.